We're right next to the Rio Bravo International Bridge. It's a crossing here, one of the many legal crossings in southeast Texas. And this is a really busy uh, location right now, this base camp right next door that these some of these active duty soldiers have built. Uh, you see them bringing in flatbeds with heavy equipment here. They've strung concertina wire around this uh, this impromptu base that they built here. They've got a lot of heavy equipment back there and other materials that they're moving and, and using to uh, help support the Customs and Border Protection agents here in southeast Texas. Uh, this is already the busiest stretch of southern border uh, for illegal entries in the nation, with or without a caravan on the way. And yesterday we spoke with some of the guys here. They're uh, military police from Fort Riley, Kansas. Is it strange at all to be deployed inside the U.S. for you guys? It is a little strange. It's it's kind of nice, though, because usually we're defending somebody else's homeland, and for a change, it's our own. So it's a little change of pace, but it's kind of nice. Yesterday, we saw why the border agents are welcome the military's help when a, a group of dozens of migrants from Honduras who are not part of the caravan just showed up under the Anzadoulos Bridge and asked for asylum. That's a, another legal crossing near McAllen, but they were not taking the legal crossing. They were walking underneath it. Men, women, about a dozen kids, they were given water. One of them received medical attention. Uh, border agents collected their shoelaces, their belts, and personal items, and then loaded them in vans to take to the processing center. Agents say they get about 100 migrants a day at that one location alone, Bill. About 900 arrests were made in the Rio Grande Valley on Saturday, more than 20,000 in October alone. So this is something they're very used to seeing, and the help is welcome here. Rick Leventhal, thank you. And the border there, Rick, thanks.